UFC Fight Night, Jan vs. Davish Willie took place Saturday, March 11th from the Virgin Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. Elite top bantamweights go to battle in a thrilling made event when number two ranked Piotr Jan takes on the number three ranked Marab Davish Willie. Let's talk Jan vs. Davish Willie. The number three ranked UFC bantamweight, Marab the Machine Davish Willie, 15 and 4, fighting out of Long Island, is determined to stop the former champion, Jan, in emphatic fashion. The Machine is on an impressive eight fight win streak and brings in a wicked pace that he imposes on his opponents. He possesses solid wrestling and is very technical all the way around. But on the other side of the octagon, you have the former UFC bantamweight champion, Piotr No Mercy Jan, 16 and 4, fighting out of Russia and sets to deliver another dominant performance against Davish Willie. Jan is a very technical and powerful fighter. He possesses incredible power and uses his impressive fight IQ to patiently wear down his opponents until it's time for the kill putting them away. There is some bad blood between these two and I can't wait for them to lock horns and go to battle. Tonight's betting odds have Davish Willie coming in at a plus 145 underdog and Jan comes in at a minus 140 favorite. All right, here's how it went down. There was bad blood coming into this fight with Jan insulting Marab. And when that bell rang, they both wasted no time. And in typical Marab fashion, he came out with heavy pressure and had several takedown attempts early pushing the pace. Throughout the night, Marab constantly changed levels, keeping Jan off balance. And it opened up his striking game. And Jan looked to defend the takedown all night. But the real story of the night was Marab's insanely incredible pace. He was absolutely relentless in his attacks and was breaking Jan. He just kept coming at him all night. Marab the Machine had a record 48 takedown attempts, wow, and Marab wasn't concerned at all that he didn't get the takedowns because he was wearing Jan down with that pressure. Marab brought in one of the most oppressive suffocating attacks I've seen in a long time and drug Jan into deep waters with his vicious pace and he outworked Jan in every part of the fight to secure a unanimous decision. Alright, here's my final thoughts. This was a highly anticipated and pivotal matchup because of the obvious stylistic matchup of the two world-class athletes in their prime and almost touching UFC gold. Both fighters are very technical and each possess killer instincts, with both guys bringing in a crazy pace, which always makes for fireworks. But wow, do we have our answer. Marab, the machine, weaponized his cardio and was absolutely relentless with his incredible pressure for 25 minutes and there was no sign of him slowing down. His game plan worked perfectly, coming right after Jan looking for takedowns and keeping Jan off balance all night, which opened up Marab's striking that Jan had no answer for and he looked incredible. Marab is on an incredible nine fight win streak and looks better every time he steps into the octagon and he is a real problem in the bantamweight division and I can't wait to see him fight again. Obviously, you're in an interesting position now, right? Because your teammate is the champion. You said you won't fight him. So will you fight other contenders until he moves up? Or do you think he'll move up after this Henry Cejudo fight and then you'll fight for the title? I fight anybody, whoever. I would just, uh, I want to be busy and I will fight anybody. Uh, I want to be busy, you know, and whoever, whoever UFC choice to me fight, I will fight. I don't have no problem. This is good problem to have, like two best friends, two teammates. We are, we are. He, my my best friend is champion, and I'm one of the tough. And then this is the good problems. You know, we are we are clinic division, and and that's that's a good feeling. Then you have Sean O'Malley that sits at number one, and Jan was ranked number two, and Marab was ranked number three. But with such a dominating win over Jan, does that push him to the number one contender position? I say Marab versus O'Malley for the next shot at the title. Guys, let me know in the comments what you thought of the fight tonight and the machine's performance and who you think he should fight next and why. Just want to give a big shout out to all of our fans. We appreciate the support. Don't forget to smash that like button. This is Jake Catton with MMA Weekly's The Lowdown Breakdown. See you next time.